Craig here and I wanted to create a quick video and show you just how easy it is to move a WordPress website to HostGator hosting or a new host that uses cPanel. Now yesterday I created a video, it turned out to be 22 minutes long and I kind of went into depth a little bit explaining things where you know maybe you just want a quick video so that's why I'm redoing this video. But before I start I want to point out that about 20 seconds into this video uh, you'll see some annotations and you can jump to each step. All right, so in this video, what I want to do is take this PLR WordPress blog and move it to my HostGator hosting. Now to do this, the way I recommend is to install a plugin called WordPress for Google Drive. And once you've configured it and set it up, it will then create a complete backup of all of the core files and the blog database and put it in a zip file and upload it to your Google Drive account. Now, if you don't know how to configure this plugin, you can check out my YouTube channel and you'll find a video which shows you how. So once it's sent a backup to your Google Drive account, like this one here, Smoking Blog, you can download it to your computer. Then when it's on your computer, you're gonna right click it and you're gonna extract all so that it's extracted to its own folder. Now, I'm gonna show you what this looks like so I'm inside the folder and basically it's backed up everything from inside the root directory of the website. Now inside WP content, we have the themes and plugins, etc. But with this plugin, it creates a couple of additional folders and inside the DB folder is where we're going to find the database, the SQL file. Okay, so the first step is I have to decide, do I want any downtime? Now, if I don't want any downtime, I'm not going to touch the name server, the DNS of this domain, and I'm going to leave it pointing to the old host until I'm ready to switch it over. So I'm going to log into HostGator. Now, if you haven't joined HostGator yet, I have a couple of coupons, which you're more than welcome to use. How to video is going to get you $9.95 off your first month, and how to video 25 is going to save you 25% off the total checkout. All right, so I'm inside my control panel and the first thing I want to do is scroll down until I find add-on domains. And I'm going to enter in my new domain name and it's quit now, stop smoking. When I click here, it automatically pre-fills it. So my FTP username would be the domain name. It creates a root, or basically another directory called the domain name. Uh, I have to give it a password and I'm gonna click add domain. So the domain name has been installed. We're going to jump back to the home page of the control panel. Now we want to scroll down and we need to look for quick install. And I guess I scrolled past it. Yeah, it's right here, quick install. Because what we want to do now is we want to install a brand new installation of WordPress. So we're gonna click on WordPress, continue. And if you only have one domain, that's all you're gonna see, but I have several, so I will have to select the quit now, stop smoking domain. I'm gonna leave this empty because I want to install the blog on the root, in the root directory of this domain. So I'm gonna leave enable auto upgrades checked. I've entered in my email address. Uh, I've entered in a blog title, a admin username, first name and last name. The email address, blog title and admin username is going to be replaced when we import the blog database backup. So you can enter in whatever you like here, it's, it's going to be replaced. We're gonna click on install now, and this should only take a second or two. And there we go, it's pretty much finished. So here it's saying congratulations and WordPress has been installed. It's given us a username and password, but once again, this is pointless because when we import the blog database, all of these details will be overwritten and the backup login username and password will come into effect. So the next step is we need to upload the core files, the themes and plugins, etc. And I normally do this via FTP and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. So the FTP program I'm going to use is called FileZilla. You can download it for free, it's a great program. And I'm gonna to connect to my hosting. I'm gonna to have to navigate and find the directory for quit now, stop smoking. So this is currently blurred out for you. So here we are, and in here, what we're looking at is the brand new WordPress installation. It's got all of the WP admin, etc. But I want to import my backup files. Now on the left side here, I can see folders, etc., which are on my computer. And this is the smoking blog. And I'm gonna double click it 
and I, basically I want to upload everything from this folder over here but I have to make sure that I delete one file or I do not upload it so I'm going to open up the folder here so you can see better and the file that we, that we have to delete or we mustn't upload is wpconfig.php and that's because this file contains the old database uh, username and password etc if we upload this file and overwrite the current one we are not going to be able to connect to the database and it's going to give us some errors so what I recommend you do is straight away just delete wpconfig.php so I'm going to delete it now we can do this a number of different ways now as you can see in the background I have my FTP program now I could select all my files here and drag them over like that and it would upload or we can do it this way from inside the FTP program now I'm just going to hit refresh and we're going to hit control A and that will select all of the files and what we want to do is drag them over and let them upload now it's going to ask do we want to overwrite them and we want to make sure that we overwrite all of the files so I'm going to check always use this action and click OK. Now the reason you want to do this is because if you've made any custom edits you want to make sure that the files that you edited replace the, the ones from the new installation. And another reason is with quick install, I forget what, it installed version 3.4.2. Now if your backup was from WordPress 3.5 because that's currently out well you may run into like a conflict or something so doing it this way basically we are installing the correct WordPress version files with the database that we're going to be installing another thing I want to point out is some people tell you yeah the only thing you need to do is back up the WP content folder well that's all very well like nine times out of ten that's all you need to back up but with this blog backup there's files and folders outside of the WP content which belong to the blog so if I don't back them up then I'm going to be missing some of the important files so that's why I recommend you you back everything up and not just the WP content folder so I'm going to press pause and we'll be right back actually you know what I don't need to press pause because we can continue and import the blog database while this is uploading so coming back to the quick install we are going to hit back to the control panel now before we can import the blog database we have to find out what the database name is of the new WordPress installation now if you only have one blog on your hosting you don't need to worry about this because you're only going to have one database but I have several blogs and many different websites which use databases so I have to find out what the database name is so to do that all I have to do is find file manager and we're going to click on it once and I'm going to open up the document route for quitnowstopsmoking.com and what we want to do is find the wpconfig.php and we're going to click on view and in here it's going to tell us what the database name is and as you can see it's wrdp13 so coming back to HostGator we're going to scroll down and we are going to click on PHP my admin and this is going to load up the area where we can import the database and on the left here you can see these are all different databases that I have so for me to find the right database I have to go look and find that out because there's no way of knowing so I need to find WRDP 13 and it's right here now currently you're if it's a new WordPress installation you're only going to see around 10 tables and what we would do is click check all and drop and then we're going to confirm it and press yes now basically it's deleted all of the data about the blog so if I refresh quit now stop smoking it's going to take us to this installation WordPress page so the next step is we want to import the blog database so we're going to click on import and choose file and then we have to navigate our way to the SQL file now just to recap 
This is inside the DB folder inside of WP content. And I'm going to select the current uh, database and click open. Scroll down and click go. It's going to upload it and then import the database. And it successfully imported all of the database tables. And now that's pretty much it. Our blog has been transferred. Now, because my domain name is already pointing to HostGator, I can simply come to my domain and double check and make sure it's working. And everything's loading up. Click on some of the links, make sure they work. They work, but this is an old PLR blog, so there's no content on that page. Now, if you don't want any downtime and your domain name is pointing to the old host, then once you've uploaded all of the core files, you've imported the blog database and you didn't come across any errors, you can safely go ahead and switch the name server so it's pointing to your new host. Should you run into any problems, you know, you're welcome to post a comment below and I will try and help you out. But if you're using HostGator hosting, they have 24-7 live chat. Should you need help within a minute or so, jump on the live chat and they'll be able to help you out. Other than that, uh, if this helped you, hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated when I release new videos. Have a great day.